We're going to do a simple um, starter wire work ring with gemstones. So first off we've got some 0.8 wire, some 0.4 wire. Um, we're going to use a, a set of cutters, a chain nose plier, a ring mandrel and three gemstones of two different sizes. So you want one bigger one and two smaller ones. So first off we need to cut two lengths of the 0.8 wire, approximately six inches will be fine and that's all we're going to need that for. So we're going to put that to one side. We're then going to wrap the shank of the ring. So that's the next step. So I'm going to unwind some of the 0.4. If you can work from the reel, it's easier. So just unwind some off and then to stop it snagging, just tuck it underneath. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to start that, that side. Slightly off centre, but you can move it a little bit. Leaving about five or six inches um, on the end. And then we're going to wrap. Now hold the two 0.8 wires together. And then we're going to wrap around the two. Now you notice I'm wrapping right close to my, my thumb. If you want to, you can use a pair of pliers for this. And we're just going to wrap nice tension close to each other. So you're almost exaggerating it and going diagonally opposite. So it slides down the last wrap. And we're going to wrap this not for the full diameter of your ring. You want to stop at the shoulders. So we're going to go about three quarters of the way around the mandrel. So keep wrapping every now and then just push it up together to make sure it's tight and keep wrapping around. Keep moving your fingers to catch up because otherwise you'll find it, it moves too much. So wrap all the way along. Squidge it down again. I'm going to unwind some more wire. I'm actually going to pop that out of the way. There we go. If you find it twists like that, just straighten it out again. Because this is the ring shank, you want it all to be flat together. Keep those flat. Oops. You can sort out any kinks later on. There we go. So that should probably be about enough. So just make sure your kinks are all sorted out. And then we're going to take our ring mandrel and place this so that it's smaller than the ring you want to do. And like I say, you want to be about three quarters of the way round. So this time we're just measuring it to see. We want to be a little bit further along. So let's just untwist that one. There we go. And we'll carry on for another few wraps. It's going to be different for every ring size. So pushing that down. Back into the rhythm push that along so it all squidges in. Now that's going to be plenty I would think. Pop it back on your ring mandrel. So we need our gemstones to fit in there so I think that will be plenty. We're going to use our cutters to cut, trim that wire off. Now pop this back in your ring mandrel and we're going to Twist that ring, that section, so that it crosses over. We're trying to get a sort of eye in the middle. So I'm going to turn that round. You can either turn your ring mandrel or your ring. See how I'm holding it in the middle to, to stop that turning. So we've now got this eye section, and this is where our gemstones are going to sit. 
So the next thing we need to do is thread on our gemstones onto the point four. So one smaller one, the big one, rondelles or rounds, both will work for this. So pop those on the end of one of the wires and then they're going to sit across in that eye section. So we now want to pop it back on the ring mandrel just to get an idea of where they're fitting. And then we're going to bend these wires underneath. So I would attach that, trim the one, the existing wire off, and then you can attach this wire quite tight around there. Now we're going to take these, I've left that there for a moment, we're going to take these wires across the end of the wrap, feed them through the middle, I'm holding everything in place, feed them through the middle, and I would pull them one at a time, so I would pull the inner one first, make sure it's covering the end of that wire, and then the other one, pull it into place and position it. So that's the first two wires. If they kink up, just pop them back into position and then pull it tight. And then we're going to do the same with the other side, making sure they're flat. We're going to take them over the end of that wire, pop in the both ends through. Pulling it tight. Be careful you don't cross them over. So that one needs to be on that side. Pull the inner one tight first. And there we go. Just want to go that side. Once you've got them in and you're happy with the position, say squidge those around. You kind of get this sort of more um, elliptical shape pop them into position and then we're going to trim off the wires underneath. Trim. Okay, and you're trimming them off so that you can push the wires so that they fit almost behind themselves so you don't get that edge. Again, do the same the other side, make sure they're sitting the right way. You can do them one at a time if you want. Move that one out of the way. Trim the first one. And then making sure you trim the second one. Be very careful you don't trim that 0.4 wire. Trim that out of the way. Squidge those wires in. There we go into place and then if one's sticking out slightly just make sure you go behind and just pull that wire in a little bit there we go to get them even Now you'll find the shank part is probably pulled out of shape a bit. We can now trim that wire off. So you just pop that back on your ring mandrel. And then reposition it into the right size. And there you have your simple ring. <laughs>